Welcome to the Lounge at Hidden Homestead. My name is David and this If you don't know who E.H. Taylor is then crawl out from underneath the rock that you've been living under and learn a book. Colonel E.H. Taylor is an amazing bourbon. He was an amazing man, the father of modern bourbon as he has been dubbed. He did a lot of great things for the bourbon industry, one of which, and is the one that we're going to be talking about today, the Bottled End Bond Act. Now, if you have been following along on this channel in my whiskey journey, you know that I do like Buffalo Trace products, but what I don't like is the hype and the secondary market and all the ridiculousness that comes along with that. Now, is this bottle really amazing? It is, it's super great. If you can get a bottle at retail, grab it. If you can get a bottle at secondary, don't. Um, but what I enjoy doing is putting stuff like this against bottled in bond bottles that you can find on the shelf every day at your local liquor store and see how they can how they compare because that's why not that's just fun so eh taylor is going to go up against evan williams bottled in bond coming in at about 1899 early times coming in at uh i think it's like 24 bucks for a whole liter jack daniels bonded i think it's $34. Heaven Hill bottled in bond. I think this one's coming in at about 50, 55 bucks. Uh, all of them are 100 proof, at least four years old. This one is seven because of the seven year. Um, so we're going to get these poured out and we're going to see where they rank. Son of a Come on, Heaven Hill. Put some better. There we go. There we go. All right. Since we got five of these, I need to go just a little short. Heaven Hill. I really do enjoy this bottle. This is a good bottle. Um, the six year is probably better, but this is a good bottle. If you guys haven't had early times, I'm really interested to see where this one ranks. I definitely know I'm, I'm gonna be able to tell what this one is. This has a very distinct uh, flavor. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's got a lot of bananas, yes. So get this poured out. I'm gonna try to mix them up. I've got, I've got five of them. It should be super simple to confuse me. So let me get these mixed up and see. Yep, I already don't know what is what actually. Good enough. Class number one. Smells delicious. I know what it is. Um, banana nut bread. Out of this lineup, uh, if you know your whiskeys, you probably know when I say bananas, what I'm talking about. Banana nut bread, I'm getting like a walnut, kind of like a banana walnut bread. Uh, really good vanilla. That's delicious. Um, yeah, that banana nut bread comes through. Got the walnuts on there. Uh, it really does taste like a really good, thick, moist loaf of banana nut bread. I know which one this one is. Um, and it's, it's delicious. I love the profile. Um, 
yeah, there's, it's so good. So I'm gonna set this one off to the side. I know what it is and I know it's good. Where's it gonna rank? Not sure, I don't know. Kind of light. Some caramel, some nuts. Uh, some vanilla. That was my phone, excuse me. How unprofessional of me. Throw that over there. Um, peanut shells. Uh, yeah, caramel, vanilla, peanut shells. Um, pretty good. Now, again, in this lineup, if you know the whiskey and you know peanuts, you probably know which one that is. Now, I do have two from the same distillery, so I am cheating a little bit. Uh, one is a little more aged than the other one, but I do think this is the Heaven Hill bottled and bond. Really good. I do love Heaven Hill's profile, that, that peanut, that nuttiness. Glass number three. So far out of these, it definitely tastes the youngest. Um, it is good though. Um, we'll leave that alone for now. Glass number four. I think I know which one that is. Pretty sure I know what that is. Good, so there's a little bit more out of any of these. Um, this one had it, but this has more of it, and I'm talking about oak. Um, this one is more of kind of a subtle, subtle sweet oak. Um, this is a little bit more heavier oak. Uh, so go to glass number five. That smells good. The caramel, the caramel vanilla, and it's like, it might be an almond. I think there's an almond in there. And if that's what I think it is, I don't think I've ever gotten that in this. The finish has green, like a green banana. That's, that's weird. That is interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. I'm going to get a drink of water, let these open up just a little bit. And then I, I went this way. I'm going to start here and I'm going to work my way back. Uh, to my my right, your left. I don't know why that always confuses me. Like every time, just just switch it, you dummy. That's what I end up saying to myself in my head. So let me get some water, and then we'll be right back. Oh, all right. Cleanse the palette. That was French. All right, so we're gonna work, like I said before, we're gonna work our way back the other way. I 
I have to rank them. I'm basing them on retail. This is the Jack Daniels. This is the early times. Evan Williams, Heaven Hill, and E.H. Taylor. These two are the ones that are gonna be the hardest. This one for sure, 100%. This one for sure is gonna be the hardest at finding it at retail. This one you can probably find at retail. It's not that big of a deal, I don't think. I, I normally find this one in, in and around Denver every time I go down there. Pretty close to retail. This one is over double. <clears throat> it's a, what, $40 bottle for their small batch. Goes for 100 at like at minimum. Um, so on secondary, high retail is probably 50. The Jack Daniels, like 35. For a 700 milliliter, so math and stuff. I'm too simple-minded. We'll say 30, 30 something, 35, 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. We'll just say 40 bucks for a 750 milliliter. If I had to call a winner, I'm gonna say it's early time. I'm gonna say it's early time just because of, there's a lot going on in that bottle was a combination of these two and because of the price, $24 for a full liter. I'm gonna say that Early Times is number one. It, it just totally different profiles, but uh, Jack Daniels and E.H. Taylor are number two. Heaven Hill is number three and Evan Williams is number four, son of a B. That was actually way harder than what I thought. So yeah, early times bottled and bond is really good for the price. If you like this video, consider hitting that thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, you could hit that thumbs down button and then let me know how I could be better. Tell me, Tell me why I suck and then tell me how I could live a better life. Uh, you could subscribe. I would greatly appreciate if you subscribed. My New Year's goal is to hit 50,000 subscribers. I'm just over 10,000 subscribers. I think that hitting that 50 is a pretty easy thing to do. Um, so yeah, hit that subscribe button, do the little bell icon so you know when we put out more videos. We do more than whiskey videos. If you like, if you like blacks, black, I've been drinking, so if you like a blacksmithing, if you like carpentry, if you like uh, preparedness, if you like uh, just concrete and building things and doing cool stuff then then just come back to the channel welcome to the channel hit that subscribe button uh we're on facebook instagram check us out on patreon we're on those things and until next time cheers what is your favorite bottled in bond bourbon or bottled in bond whiskey in general rye, whatever. Rittenhouse, I think I have that somewhere. Um, Freaking mellow corn. Mellow corn is bottled in bond. I should have done that one. I should do that one. Maybe I, maybe I should do early times against mellow corn. Uh, put in the comments below, what is your favorite bottled in bond? Let me know. I think that'd be cool.